Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Hybrid Studio Taiko by Fallout Music Group. Hybrid Studio Taiko allows composers to insert both natural and hybrid taiko ensembles and solo drums into their tracks. The samples are tight and punchy, and the snapshots extend the flexibility of this instrument to fit into just about any mix. From tight, natural mixes to large and sizzling hybrid mixes, this would be a great addition to trailer or action tracks. Hybrid Studio Taiko is compatible with the Free Contact Player or Contact 6.7 or above. It includes eight ensembles and nine solo drums and downloads as one gigabyte. Most drums have been recorded with 10 round robins and four velocity layers. Hybrid Studio Taiko is available from Fallout Music Group for $119 but at time of review was available for the introductory price of $89. Here's a short demo I put together in just a few minutes to show you some of the power and sound of Hybrid Studio Tyco. This is a taiko instrument that was recorded with 10 round robins and four velocity layers on most drums. So there's just a ton of samples here, actually almost 3,000. But what's unique about this instrument is not only do you get taiko ensembles and taiko solo instruments, but you also get this really interesting combination of both a tight natural studio recording, the, the samples from a natural studio recording that's, you know, instead of those long tails that's more tight and, you know, punchy, you get that along with hybridized samples that you can mix in to taste. Now, there's plenty of snapshots that, that will do this for you automatically, but these two controls up here allow you to mix it in to your taste to be exactly how you want it to sound. So let's go ahead and actually just start with the full instrument itself. You can see that there's four NKIs. There's one for the high ensemble, one for the low ensemble, a solos one, and then also one for the full instrument, which is what we're gonna start out with. So let's just go through a few of these samples to start with. Now, obviously I'm finger drumming in real time, so it's not gonna be, it's far from perfect <laughs> and far from quantized, but you get the you get the gist here. Now, this is the enhanced mix, the one I've just played. Let's go to the default to give you an idea. Getting a little out of control here. <laughs> We've done the enhanced mix. Let's go to the natural. Let's go to the heavy mix.
Now, one of the things that's really cool about this instrument too, is if you click the little keyboard icon down here, you can actually see where the drums are, are um, mapped out across the keyboard. So you can see which instruments you're actually playing. So you can see your medals, you can see the solo instruments, the low ensembles, which really helps. I love this hybrid heavy mix. You can see there's about, you know, you've got about a 50% mix on the studio and about a 75% on the hybrid, but this just has so much punch and so much, this feels so trailerized to me, would fit so at home in trailer music. Let's listen to some of the individual instruments. Or better. <laughs> Again, finger drumming, friends. <laughs> All right, let's see here. That was the hybrid heavy mix, and we've got one more, which is the mayhem mix. Let's see what that's all about. Wozer, that is powerful. Um, you can see you've got your attack and release, very simple interface, both for the studio and the hybrid. And then you've got this dial in the middle that just adds some flavor. And I mean, it's, it's like, it feels like a lot of saturation. And maybe some distortion. So just a whole lot of character there, whole lot of character. All right, so that's the full instrument. Let's go check out the high ensemble by itself, and then we'll go through each of the other instruments as well. So with no snapshot loaded, let's see, let's, oh, this is something I really like that I don't want to fail to mention here. I love how Fallout Music Group have actually mapped the exact same samples for the high ensemble, the low ensemble, and the solo instruments. I love how they've mapped them twice in two different octaves because there are so many um, drum libraries that when you play them, you end up having to try and hit the same key, you know, really fast with either a single finger or putting two fingers on a single key, which is very fumbly and just doesn't feel right. And when I opened up this instrument and I began to play, especially these top three patches, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the way everybody needs to do this from now on because it just works so well. Check this out. Let me find the mapping first. Oh, down here. So. So you got, there's your high ensemble. I mean, that's just so much funner to play so much easier. It just comes so much more naturally when you're playing on just, you know, two different, two different octaves with two hands. It just makes so much more sense. All right, so that's the default. Oh, that's no snapshot. Let's do the default. And the high enhanced mix. And please forgive my finger drumming. <laughs> Here's the high enhanced natural, which you can see emphasizes more of the actual studio sound instead of the hybrid sound. OK. 
Okay. And then we've got the heavy mix. Very, very cool. And you're back to the default. So now let's go to the low ensembles. And with no snapshot loaded, we get this. Oh, let's go down an octave. And it just, I can't even tell you, friends, when you have two hands separated by two octaves, it just feels so much better when you're finger drumming. It just feels so much better. So we've got the low enhanced mixed. So much better. And the low enhanced natural. And we've got the low hybrid heavy mix. Wow. That is just trailer esque. Let's play each one of those. I mean, that's just. Wow, that's nasty in a good way, in the best kind of way. So now we've got the mayhem mix. That is blow you away. Okay, low trailer punches. I'm really curious to see what this is like. 50% on the studio, 75% on the hybrid, quick attack, and medium release. Let's see what this is all about. Super tight. Wow. Whew. Blow you away. Nice. All right. And now we've got the solos double mapped. So these are, you can tell there are a lot of solo drums. I'm going to go ahead and just move straight to the enhanced mix and let's listen to each one individually and then we'll play some. Okay. Really, really cool. Okay. Let's see what we got. about the natural. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Please don't tear me apart in the comments for my bad finger drumming. <laughs> This, my friends, is why you have a sequencer in your DAW. And just trying to come up with this stuff on the fly, it's really fun and simultaneously a little nerve wracking. <laughs> so we've got the heavy mix. and the Mayhem mix. And you can see here, you've got your saturation and EQ. Woo, some moking. And there you go, friends. That is the whole library. So, so much to like about this. I mean, the samples are tight. In fact, let's go back just for fun. Let's go back to the full. And I want to put this on just the enhanced mix. I really like this enhanced mix. And we're just going to go and um, play just a little bit with the control here. And I really want you to get a feel for what these sound like independently. Actually, I should have just, you know what? Let me go back. All right. So I'm going to mute the hybrid and only do the studio so you can hear that first. get a feel for the hybrid. And then all together now. There's just a ton to like here. I mean, you've got 10 round robins and four velocity layers on most of these drums, almost 3000 samples. I personally, I think one of my absolute favorite parts about this library, going back to these three top patches, is the fact that you have split left and right hands mapped across the keyboards. So you have the exact same samples mapped to both hands so you can play independently which just makes so much sense. Everyone should be doing this with their drum libraries from now on. I love it. Um, the sounds are great. I love this, the fact that you can really hone in how much hybrid, uh, you know, how much of that hybridized trailer sound you want versus how much of the studio samples you want. I love the snapshot, pr the, the snapshot presets, the fact that you can go in and select, you know, something that's just a little more refined that's already plug and play. You don't have to go in and tweak it if you don't want to, but you can. Really, really great Tyco library. Very much enjoyed it. Thanks for checking out Hybrid Studio Tyco with me today. So what do you think? Would you use this Tyco in your own music? Do you like the more natural or the more hybridized sound option? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews and stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.